All right, what is going on, everybody? This is a different video than normal. Um, so I was actually playing this game, um, or this uh, map, rather. Uh, this is MW2 Firing Range. This is based off of uh, the Modern Warfare 2019 uh, MW2 weapons. I think it's mostly the 2019 weapons, uh, but either way, it's super cool. It's a uh, Firing Range, definitely inspired by OG Modern Warfare um stuff but it's super cool uh i'm the reason i'm making this is because i had a pretty decently hard time figuring out what to do here um so i figured i would just kind of show little snippets of how to piece together a little easter egg that there is um as you saw me uh do a second ago there is a skull on top of uh quick revive there's also another one under this little window barrier there's also uh i think two out if you throw one grenade to the left a little dude that you see standing there uh and then the dude to the right you will eventually get perkaholic as you see me get here um and it's really cool definitely helps um and this map you can do a bunch of different things in. you need this wrench right here um that wrench comes in handy later but yeah you can do a bunch of different things here uh you can play this as kind of like a solo survival thing uh if you choose to do so or you can shoot these little generators they will pop up green or uh, uh, the little power boxes they will pop up green whenever you shoot them as you just kind of saw there um, again, this was super confusing for me. They pop up in a random rotation, so your rotation is kind of probably be different than mine. Uh, see, like, that's one. And again, it's kind of hard. If you're playing with maybe two people, you could progress to this super easy. But again, being solo, it's a little harder. But yeah, you need to shoot, uh, I believe there is six generators, maybe five. But you need to keep your eyes on which ones you've already shot. Again, I just keep shooting over them because I was trying to read the little Easter egg thing and then also do it myself. And then after you do that, then you're going to be able to go to that little thing on the wall that I was just looking at. And then be able to do something with it after you, that's the importance of the wrench. So you need the wrench to be able to go do that, to go there. And after that, you get to basically freely explore. Uh, it's super cool. Again, you can treat that section that I was just in. You can treat that as a survival thing. It's kind of pointless in that regard because it doesn't like progress the rounds. Like for example, if you played for 15 minutes and you went down, you would basically end on round one with a bunch of kills. So it's kind of like timed gameplay. Uh, that's a good way to look at it. Um, or you can just keep trying to progress and do the little Easter egg section, which I failed. If you want me to see, uh, if you want to see me do this uh, accurately, let me know. I would happily do this. Uh, but yeah, you got this little room. You got a thousand door, which brings you outside. That room is going to come in handy again later for Easter egg purposes. Uh, but when you go out here, I went downed. Uh, which I cut that footage, but I went down. So you have all your perks just in case you do go down or, you know, I don't know, maybe someone joined late and they didn't get Perkaholic or something. But yeah, you got all your perks. So you get to go around, explore. I believe all the Perkaholic perks you can get in this room uh, and then quick revive in that beginning room. Uh, but yeah, you follow these stairs up, you will happily get Jug. And then if you go up a little bit further, you will have the ending area. Uh, there's really nothing special. I kind of was expecting a little more. Uh, and again, you need to go back to this room, pick up that laptop. That's going to be able to allow you to open up that door, which will open up the Bible. But yeah, again, I expected the Bible area to have a little bit more in it. Maybe like, I don't know, some like Easter egg kind of stuff. Because again, this is a very, very cool map. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and then yeah, you can uh, finish the game for 50k pretty easy. Or you can do what I did and run out of bounds and die, which basically leaves you finishing the game but yeah if you guys want to see me actually play this let me know if you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know that as well and i'll catch you all later peace out everybody